you went to your eye doctor, you got a contact lens prescription. Now, what does this mean? I'm gonna explain it all in this video. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupo Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, make sure and hit that like, follow, and subscribe button. All right, what exactly do all these numbers, all these letters mean on your contact lens prescription? I'm gonna break it down right now. So the first thing you're gonna notice is OD and OS. This will be the same in your glasses prescription as well. OD means ocular dexter or right eye. OS means ocular sinister or left eye. Then you're going to see some columns. It's going to say sphere, cylinder, axis, and add power. Not all of these may apply to you, but some might, just like with your glasses prescription. The sphere number can be plus or minus. If it's a plus number, it means you're hyperopic or sometimes called farsighted. If it's a minus number, it means you are myopic or nearsighted. Now, if you have a number in the cylinder column, that means you have astigmatism. And that number is going to also have an axis associated with it. The astigmatism can either be plus or minus as well. And that just depends on the convention of whichever eye doctor you went to go see. I tend to write my prescriptions in minus prescription for the cylinder, but that can easily be transposed to a plus cylinder prescription. So if you remember your ninth grade geometry, all astigmatism means is that the light is focusing in many points instead of a single point of light. And that could either mean it is focusing in many points behind the retina or in front of the retina. So we need to use a cylindrical lens to focus the light down into one single point. You can check out my astigmatism video if you're interested. Contact lenses can be astigmatism contact lenses. That's called a toric contact lens. Back in the old days, you had to wear a rigid gas permeable lens or hard contact lens if you had astigmatism. But now they have even soft daily disposable contact lenses for astigmatism. So it's pretty amazing. So you're going to see that number if you have astigmatism in the cylinder and axis. And the axis just tells us which way the cylinder needs to point to focus the light down. Now toric contact lenses, they are a little bit thicker and they're not quite as comfortable as contact lenses for people who don't have astigmatism. That's called spherical contact lenses. And when we're looking in the examination, we're always checking to make sure the contact lens is oriented properly for a toric contact lens. There's a little weight at the very bottom to keep it in the correct orientation. So it's oriented and doing its right thing in the correct axis. The thing about toric contact lenses is they don't come in the exact powers you might need. Most usually come in half diopter increments. So usually they'll start at 0.75 diopters of astigmatism or cylinder, and then go to 1.25 and then 1.75. So that means there is some fitting and finesse involved in trying to figure out what exactly your toric contact lens prescription is going to be. Because for glasses, we can make it in whatever power you actually need. If you need a minus 2.00 for astigmatism, we can put it in. But in a lot of uh, contact lenses, that 2.00 is not available. So you have to either go to 1.75 or 2.25. Also the specific axis, usually in contact lenses, it's only by 10 degrees. Glasses, we can make it any degree you want, 163 degrees, 49 degrees, 78 degrees. But for contact lenses, we have to either go to the 80 degrees or the 150 or the 90 degrees. Now, the other thing you might see on your prescription is an ad power. If you are over 40, like me, you might need something called a multifocal contact lens. Multifocal contact lenses have different rings, so they help you focus for distance as well as up close. One thing that you would notice as well, if you have an ad power there, sometimes it might just say low, mid, or high because it comes in various strengths, but not really specific in terms of how much ad power there is in the contact lens. And you may also see a D or an N. A D stands for dominant eye. Typically, everybody's got a dominant eye, and we want that eye focused clearly for distance. 
your brain just likes it better. For your near vision eye, that can be your non-dominant eye. So usually we might play around with the contact lenses, especially multifocal contact lenses, to give you the best possible vision and allow you to see up close and far away, but we need to put in some extra parameters. Now that we've covered the basics, is this contact lens prescription the same as your glasses prescription? No. And there's gonna be a couple added parts to the contact lens prescription that you don't have in your glasses prescription. Everything we've talked about so far is also in your glasses prescription, but the numbers might be different. And really where the numbers are different is the sphere and the cylinder. So for the sphere, this is why we can't just take your glasses and give you the exact same prescription as a contact lens prescription. There's something called a vertex distance. That's how far away your glasses usually sit from the front surface of your eyeball. They are not directly on your eyeball the way of contact lenses. That's going to play into the prescription strength of the contact lens. For lower power strengths, anything lower than a 4.0 diopter, either plus or minus, usually we don't have to take too much into account in terms of the vertex distance. So because we have to take the vertex distance into account, that number for the sphere is going to be different. So if you have a minus prescription, it might actually be a little bit lower in the contact lenses than your glasses. The opposite is true if you have a plus prescription. You might notice your contact lens prescription is stronger than your glasses prescription. The other way that your glasses and contact lens prescription are different is you might notice your glasses have a little bit of astigmatism. Maybe you have a 0.5 diopters of astigmatism in your glasses prescription, but you've gotten contacts and they're just plain sphere, nearsighted contact lenses. No astigmatism, not porous. Why is that? The reason is because the other thing that happens is when you put a contact lens on the surface of the eye, it vaults over the cornea and it actually causes and can give a little bit of astigmatism to counteract your natural astigmatism. So sometimes we don't actually need to incorporate your astigmatism into the contact lens. You can do just as well with a spherical contact lens. And most people like the spherical contact lenses better. Like I said, they're a little bit thinner. They don't need to be weighted in a particular orientation, a little bit easier to get on. So that's one thing you might notice as well. You'll also see a number for the BC. BC stands for base curve. It's the curvature of the contact lens. It's measured in millimeters and it should align with how curved your eye is. And typically it's between eight and nine millimeters. Some brands of contact lenses might only have one particular base curve, but many brands have at least two, 8.4, 8.6, 9.0. The higher your number is, the flatter the front surface of your eye is. I have a base curve of 9.0, which means my corneas are a little bit more on the flat side. And also there are variations between manufacturers. One manufacturer for a daily disposable might make an 8.4 base curve and another one makes an 8.6. This is why we can't just interchange between manufacturers and we always try to put the contact lens on your eye and make sure it actually fits and moves well but not overly much. So the base curve, think of it like the radius of a circle and we're just chopping it in half. There's also a number you might see, DIA, which stands for diameter. This is the full width of your contact lens and it goes usually from 14 to 14.5. This is also measured in millimeters. So a couple different things that you'll see, you'll also see the manufacturer and an expiration date, typically one year from the time that the doctor wrote the prescription. All of these things are really necessary for you to purchase contact lenses because it ensures the safety and health of your eyes. So if you are purchasing your contact lenses online, make sure that they ask for all of these numbers. Ace curve, manufacturer, they should be asking for it. If not, then you're gonna suspect whether or not those contacts are FDA approved, which all contact lenses here in the US are FDA approved medical devices to insert in your eyes. So don't just buy ones that don't ask for your prescription. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful. If you have other topics you would like for me to answer about classes or contact lenses, eye surgery, or eye health, drop them in the comments below and I will make sure to do so. Until next time, I'm Dr. Ruba. Bye for now.